Well, here's inside that uh, Chrysler Pacifica hybrid, 16 kilowatt. Looks like they're larger cells. Wonder what they are. LG, LG Chem. Uh, awesome. They're what I thought they were. I think these are 45 amp, amp hours each. I'm not sure. They gotta take this apart further. But uh, doesn't look like the battery got damaged. Uh, we'll have to see. There's some discoloring on the metal uh, from this getting quite hot. The inside, see how it peeled. So this wasn't a fire. Luckily, if a little corner might be bad, I don't know. The rest of it looks okay. Like even the plastics, all the plastics, all over here, you can see this front cover got hot enough to melt. Oops, not focused, sorry about that. Here you hear, that got hot, hot enough to melt. Uh, only up to here. But this didn't melt, the wire didn't melt at all, so this obviously melts real easy because you, wires melt pretty easy too. So they didn't melt. The gasket melted a bit. So it looks like uh, it was probably saved and it could be saved from the liquid cooling itself. Just the fact that there was liquid in here and it was probably moving around a little bit, it could have saved it. Anyways, we're gonna test it out. I'm gonna keep these ones aside obviously, but it looks like they're in groups. There's a group, there's a group, there's a group. So anyways, Thanks for watching. I'm going to continue taking this apart and I'm time lapsing. Okay, so we not produced much power today, unfortunately. We are low on battery power, and that is because it's cloudy a lot of the day, and we use whatever power we got, we used. Got that extra power hooked up. Got two more banks of the Ford uh, Focus batteries to hook up, and I got my Chrysler batteries. These are LG Chemistries. Uh, this is 16 kilowatts between the six and So this pack here, I think when I test it it reads 56 volts I am hoping that it is 16 s because if this is 16 s. Oh my goodness It just pairs my system perfectly and I'll have six strands of 16 s So we're gonna see right now. So if I test them one here uh, come on uh, we're sitting at 56.7 volts they're all sitting at that so this is a different pack if I can get it beautiful and that was the that's the pack with the fire damage it's showing the exact same volt so I don't think it got damaged 6.8 6.8, 6.8-ish, the meter takes a little bit to zero in, uh, come on, so if these are 16S that'd be amazing, or they could be almost fully charged 14S, which wouldn't be as good for me, I'd have to use these, I don't know, different application, who knows. But yeah, it's my batteries. Hoping they're 16S. I will be testing that soon. Well, guys, I'm in luck. I just checked. I counted all the cells. There's. This is 16S. Oh baby, that is fantastic. I'm so excited. 16S. This pack will just button down with my system like no problem at all. I'm so glad I made a 16S system. It just seems like these packs. 
it's either they're either uh, 8s or 16s in these packs. So that is awesome. The only thing, only one I, that wasn't built this way is the Chevy Volt battery. They're actually in 12s configurations, either 8s or sorry, 6s or 12s. So with that, I'm going to be changing. But I'm very excited with this. This is so much easier to hook up than my Chevy Volt battery because that just does not work with my system too well. Uh, I'll be making it work with my system. The Nissan Leaf batteries are really easy as well because they're just 2S configurations. These were 4S configurations. These are 2S each. Uh, so yeah, everything works out well. I'll probably put a BMS per. So BMS, 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 BMS. Just if I over BMS it, it shouldn't fail. Or we'll see. I might BMS per two. We'll see. I'm not sure yet. Because that BMS is 4.8 kilowatts. If I BMS two of these together, it's gonna have well, it should be pretty close to the same actually. So maybe I will. I might put a BMS per two modules. Anyways, yeah, pretty excited. Everything's working super good with the system. Got some more batteries to hook up. Still have these to hook up. Waiting on my BMS boards. They should be coming in the next few weeks, hopefully. Thanks for watching, guys. Just another update. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm uh, talking with Reliable. See if we can do uh, a giveaway. 3000 watt reliable inverter giveaway see how those talks go I, I'm asking them to uh, uh, pay 50% yeah see what happens thanks for watching